Hello, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your weekly love reading from June 2nd to June 9th. If this reading resonates with you, please be sure to click the like button. And on the bottom left-hand side of the video, there is a red subscribe button. If you click that once, any future reading will automatically come up on your YouTube feed. If this reading does not resonate with you, <clears throat> please keep in mind it is a general reading. It is not meant for everybody and to also look into your moon rising and uh, Venus sign. Now, um, I am taking personal readings. You can book a session at my uh, web on my website, www.thetarotoflight.com. The details are in the description box below. Uh, my subscribers are getting $10 off their first personal reading of $35 or more, and I will be choosing one subscriber a month for a free 60-minute reading um, for both love and finance, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, Gemini. What messages do we have for Gemini for the week of June 2nd to June 9th of 2019? What messages do we have for Gemini, June 2nd to June 9th of 2019? Gemini, June 2nd to June 9th of 2019. Okay, Gemini, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so we do have um, fire here. So we do have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. We do have cups here, which is water. So we could be dealing with a, a Scorpio, Pisces, um, Cancer. We do have Earth here. So we could be dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. I also have air signs here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Stuff. Okay, Gemini. All right, so the underlying, uh, excuse me, the underlining energy of the reading is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. So this is um, Earth energy, okay? So we could be dealing with Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn energy here, all right? So the Knight of Pentacles. So that means that either you're going to be going towards somebody, Gemini, or somebody is going to be coming towards you, all right? Um, Let's see here. That also represents a stable person financially, very, you know, stable, um, not crazy. Could even be, a, you know, a little bit boring sometimes, um, but very stable energy. Um, all right, so here we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so that's good news. That's good beginnings, new beginnings in communication. Now, that is um, clarified by the Page of Cups. Okay, so the Page of Cups could be somebody, it's messages coming in of love. So there may be new communication coming in, uh, some, you know, from, from your person. We have here the Queen of Cups. Okay, so the Queen of Cups, again, can be, uh, Cups is, uh, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and then we also have the uh, Page of Pentacles here, which uh, could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So we have here the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is a very um, intuitive person, an emp empathetic person, um, somebody who takes care and loves the people around her, very sweet person. Um, now, we have the Page of Pentacles. Again, pages are messages, okay? So we do have messages of love and messages of money coming. You know, pentacles can represent money um, or an apology, okay? So we do have, uh, you know, someone, a lot of communication here. We do have someone coming um, towards you, Gemini, okay? So we do have the five of cups here. Uh, being clarified by the three of wands. So the five of cups, again, that's going to be a, a, a water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a wands is fire energy. So we could be dealing with Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, okay? Um, now, cups does represent emotions and relationships, while wands do represent travel and communication. So the five of cups here, as you can see, um, 
I don't know, Gemini, it's either you or your person is very sad over something that was lost. You, you guys are uh, thinking about the past. You know, this can represent having to leave a living situation very quickly or leave a work situation very quickly. But, you know, this is a love reading, so we'll focus on the love part of it. Um, you're not looking at the two cups that you have standing there, okay? So you may be a little bit in your head thinking of... Uh, the past a little bit here so now we have the three of wands now the three of wands can um represent you know you looking out towards something you you looking back at something or looking towards something um this can represent maybe a long distance relationship or maybe you're feeling distant from your partner emotionally okay um you're in your head a little bit here emotionally about about the past or maybe an argument that may have ensued okay so now we have temperance being clarified by the nine of swords okay so like i said um gemini you want balance you're looking for balance with your person um you're very much in your emotions here with the nine of swords so swords is an air energy so that's a uh, gemini libra aquarius energy so this is kind of where you're at right now gemini very you know anxious living in fear not sure what's going to happen sleepless nights you know you have you're having a lot of anxiety so you just you're looking for some balance here so you're in your head um so you, there is a new communication coming in you do have someone coming towards you with love um maybe it's an ex coming back into the picture i don't I have one three here. Oh, well, I got two threes. So it could be you thinking of someone from the past or someone from the past is thinking about you. Again, this could always be vice versa. But I do have two three cards here. So um, I don't know. Let's see. So we have the three of pentacles here. The three of pentacles is being clarified by the five of wands. So once again, Gemini, I mean, threes, you know, can represent a third party situation. Again, that doesn't always have to be another man or another woman. It could just be something, you know, coming in between you and your person. Okay. It could be, um, you know, uh, emotional, being emotionally unavailable. It could be your anxiety. It could be an addiction. It could be anything coming in between you and your partner, because I do see here, uh, some conflict. Okay. I do see here, you know, competition you having to stand your ground or maybe your person having to stand their ground because um, again this can all be vice versa okay so here we have earth sign capricorn taurus virgo energy and then we have uh, fire signs aries leo and sagittarius energy okay so from what i'm getting here there's going to be some type of message coming in some type of new communication coming in um it's going to put you in your head a little bit here you're gonna you're gonna start thinking you're gonna start thinking about uh, the future there might be a little bit of you know disconnection um you're gonna want some type of balance here because it's gonna cause you a lot of anxiety gemini okay and you know whatever it is this, this third situate party situation is um you know this card does represent jealousy it can be jealousy all right so there might be some type of jealousy happening here causing conflict with you and your person so here we have the page of wands that is clarifying um, the Ace of, of Wands. So there's definitely communication coming in. So something is gonna come to light, something is gonna, um, I mean, we definitely have communication coming in. You're gonna be communicating with either your person, something is gonna be happening here. Now we have the Queen of Cups being uh, clarified by the Strength card, okay? so. This means that you are trying to change the way you handle certain situations. You're trying to, um, you know, the strength card, I call it like the beauty and the beast card. Instead of responding to this communication in a volatile manner, instead of responding, you know, really emotionally and crazy, instead of letting, you know, all of this anxiety out, you're trying to respond in a more peaceful way. You're trying to respond in a more uh, loving, caring, kind way, okay? Now, you may, you know, the five of cups is being clarified by the world and the world is a beautiful beautiful card in the major arcana it, it, it means that something a cycle is going to come to a close and something new and successful is going to begin okay so with the five of cups i i feel like this represents like some type of message came in okay and it might 
hurt you, Gemini, okay? You might get some information that's going to hurt you, but overall, th this, you know, this pain that, that is coming to you, this fear, this anxiety, this message coming in, it's going to start a whole new chapter in your relationship, okay? I don't, I don't know if this current relationship is going to end and something new is going to begin, but a cycle with your person is going to end and there's going to be some successful beginning that's happening here. Um, now, temperance is clarified by the Queen of Swords, okay? So the Queen of Swords is, um, you know, you're putting your emotions to the side and you need to start thinking with your head. So again, the, this anxiety, this this feel, these feelings of anxiety and, and fear or whatnot, you're trying to balance out your emotions right now, Gemini. So you're trying to think more with your head than with your heart, or at least balance your head and your heart versus letting your heart and your emotions take over. Now we have the three of pentacles being clarified by the two of swords. So swords, we have here air energy, which again is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So see this third party situation is causing you to close yourself off. It's causing you to, to um, you know, have fear, anxiety, maybe jealousy, whatever communication is coming in, it's going to cause you to withdraw into yourself, to, to block yourself off, to guard yourself and feel like you need to protect yourself whatever this information is coming in. Um, now, the Page of Cups, the Page of Cups is being clarified by the um, Queen of Wands. So you see, that worries me a little bit because we do have two women here, um, two very different women, okay? Because the Queen of Cups is, you know, very loving, quiet, you know, kind, empathetic woman. And the Queen of Wands is a fire energy, okay? So the Queen of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini. Here we have fire energy, which is, you know, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, um, Scorpio energy. Or, uh, no, excuse me. I'm looking at the cards. I'm not paying attention. So the wands is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So this is a more passionate sign, more fiery sign. This is someone, I mean, she does represent fertility. Okay. So maybe you, you're getting a message in that, you know, there's a pregnancy outside of your relationship that happened. Maybe you're getting news of, um, you know, something along those lines that you found out that, you know, your partner, you know, maybe had an affair and now there's a pregnancy on the way because she does represent fertility. Okay. Um, but this is definitely a more passionate person. Okay. So, I mean, that could be another person involved. Um, I don't know, but I am getting two Queens here. Um, no, actually we have three Queens here. So again, you know, third party, you know, third party energy here, but let's see, uh, let's see what happens. And again, you know, this is clarifying the Page of Cups, so you may be getting a message about this this other person or a message about a, a pregnancy outside of your relationship. So here we have the Page of Pentacles, okay, being clarified by the Three of Cups, okay? So again, this can be an apology coming in towards this third-party situation, or it can be... Um, you know, I, it, it can also represent good news coming in because this is a celebration card. But quite frankly, Gemini, I mean, with the cards that are following, um, you know, I, I just don't know here because there is a lot of stress and anxiety. So this may be an apology coming in towards this third party situation. This may be because here we have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, cups do represent, you know, love, emotion, relationships, but they are a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So we, we do have that energy there too. But I do feel like, you know, this may be an apology coming in because of this other message that was received. All right, or you may receive some information about a third party and we have an apology coming in because here again we have the three of wands um with you like you know wondering about you know what's happening what's one you know it, it's like um you're wondering about this communication you're you're not sure of it it's just you know you have this blank view blank vision here and you just don't know what to think of it you're just not sure and that's why you're having all this fear, anxiety, insecurity, doubt, you're closing yourself off. But this is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, which is a beautiful thing because it's a new beginning, okay? It's a new beginning, you know? So here we have the Page of Pentacles coming in, you know, I feel like this huge apology is going to be coming in towards you, okay? And again, here we have the Knight of Cups that's coming towards you, you know, the Knight of Cups is coming towards you to, to clarify the... Um, 
the uh, the nine of swords so i do feel like someone's going to come towards you with love you know you're going to find something out but then someone's going to come towards you with love and this massive apology so here we have the five of wands which again fire energy being clarified by the devil gemini all right being clarified by the devil so the devil can be restriction it can be obsession it can be an addiction it can be cheating so this tells me that you know there's going to be a lot of conflict over this third party situation there's going to be a lot of um, you know, you can find out that your partner cheated or has been thinking about cheating or maybe an alternate pregnancy or find out that there's an addiction happening um, and it's going to cause a, a lot of strife. But ultimately, I do feel, I mean, you have messages coming in everywhere. The energy is the Knight of Pentacles. You've got pages, knights, everybody coming towards you with information and, I, you know, love and apologies here. Um, see, we do have, you know, clarifying this. We do have the Six of Wands, which is victory, okay, which is victory. So, you know, um, I do feel like, I mean, you're going to be victorious out of this because let's just face it, if you have, if you're with, if your person is cheating on you and you find out about it, I mean, that's a victory because at least you know now to, to walk away or, you know, to, to that that's the end of a situation. So whatever is happening, Gemini, whatever information is going to be coming towards you, um, you are going to have victory on it. Whether it's a cycle that ends, you know, your, your person will not be seeing that third party person anymore or will stop that drug addiction. It, it's going to come to light and a new cycle will begin. OK, I don't see. You know, I don't see anything ending here. I don't see the relationship ending, but I do see um, information coming towards you. I do see you being hurt over this information, and I do see love coming your way. I do see new beginnings in communication, apologies coming in, people coming towards you. Um, and, you know, you have the world card, which you have the, the victory there, and you have the world card, which means that whatever is causing you pain is going to end, and a new cycle is going to begin, Gemini, okay? So let's see what the romance angels have to say. What messages do we have for Gemini for June 2nd to June 9th, 2019? Messages for Gemini. Okay, so we have here getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? So I think whatever communication is going to come out is something that you had no idea that your partner was going through, that your person was going through. Maybe you didn't know that they were hung up on this other person, or maybe you didn't know that they had this addiction. You didn't know this side of them, but you're going to find this out, okay? In the end, I do feel, like I said, it's going to bring you closer together. It's going to end that cycle of you not knowing, and something new and, and, and great is going to come out of it. Um, then we have here true love and we also have new love okay so this person i mean you love this person gemini for them to be causing all this havoc in your life you definitely love this person okay this is a romance of a lifetime i mean this is your person all right and I feel that new love is going to come out of this. Like I said, something new is going to be beginning here. This old cycle is going to end and something new is going to be beginning because you're really starting to know this person on a deeper level. You know, sometimes things need to break so that new things can come forward. Okay, um, the underlining energy is unrequited love, which is how you may feel when this message comes in. Okay, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You may feel, you know, really hurt, Gemini. You know, I mean, you're going to feel really hurt. There is going to be a lot of conflict. You may feel really.
really jealous. You may want to close yourself off. You may become the queen of swords and put aside your emotions and think with your head and, you know, want to cut things out. You know what I'm saying? You may have, you know, experienced loss and pain. Um, but overall, Gemini, I mean, you have... You know, it's it's gonna make you a stronger person. You're gonna you have two new beginnings here, okay? You, you know, you have the apologies coming in, you have a lot of people coming towards you. I mean, look at how many people are coming towards you. You have all these people coming towards you, you know, and, and you have the world. It ends with this bad cycle, you know, ending in something new and beautiful beginning. Okay? All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, if you did, please remember to hit the like button and uh, just click on that subscribe button on the bottom left-hand corner of the video. Take care.